Hey guys, Danny Johnson here. Today I want to show you a really easy way to understand a continuity test using a good fuse and a bad fuse as an example. So we're going to be using our multimeter and the function that we're going to turn it to is the continuity symbol, which looks like the Wi-Fi symbol on its side. So you'll be turning to this one. It's very important to disconnect all power to what you're measuring. In this case, we're using open fuses that there's no power connected. So that's what we want to do. And so their instructions say, do not input 60 volts direct current or 30 volts alternating current to avoid personal harm or use to energize circuits as we talked about. So as per their instructions, we're gonna insert the black negative test lead into the COM input terminal, and we're gonna insert the red positive test lead into the input terminal to the right of the COM terminal. Okay, so again, what we're gonna use for our test mule here is a good fuse, as you can see, it has a complete circuit and a bad fuse that's been blown out. And so all we're gonna do is touch each end of these fuses and the continuity test will tell us whether it's continuous and whether we're getting uh, you know, the uh, measurement all the way through the circuit. So we're gonna go ahead and start with the good one first. And so it doesn't matter which side we're touching here, but we're gonna touch to each sides. And when we do, you hear that beep. Okay, we get a measurement on the tool as well, but the main point is we hear that beep so we know that there's continuity or continuous line between both sides of this fuse. So now listen to this one. There's no sound because we know there's a blown circuit. So what it basically is telling us is that it is not making a connection. So this is a very easy way to test circuits without having to pull all the fuses out. And even on the top of some fuses, there's a place to put your multimeter. So again, remember that you would want the power disconnected. So for example, if you're doing this on circuits in your car, you want the car battery disconnected as you test each of these. So this testing procedure can be very useful, especially like this one, there's a mega fuse here. And this one you can't see on the inside whether it's broken or not. It would probably break or something. But uh, anyway, we had an alternator for an example that we wanted to know if the alternator was bad or not. And so something you can do is a continuity test across this. So as you hear, you can hear the beep. So this fuse apparently is good. Now on this light bulb, it's a little tricky because you see both sides here, but you actually have to go from opposite sides and then you'll hear it. So again, this light bulb plugs in on two different sides. So if you tested the same side, you might think that it's bad. This is a tiny little fuse here too, just a good idea. You can see the little thin line going through. Sometimes it's apparent uh, whether the fuse is blown or not, and sometimes uh, one of these continuity tests comes in handy. So hopefully you enjoyed this demonstration of a continuity test, and you can see how simple it is to do. And uh, just be safe. Remember to do it uh, on circuits that are not energized. And if you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe. As always, thanks for watching.